Can you, uh, can you get me free tickets to Dan Soder in Lexington? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> my girlfriend wants to go. No. Oh. Dan Soder. He's a comedian. I know that because he's been on comedy stuff. He's a funny man. I'm sure he's funny. You don't like billions? <laughs> I'm sure he's funny. <laughs> he and Paul Giamatti hanging out. He's the, uh, he only had one scene with uh, Bobby Axelrod. Who's Bobby Axelrod? Uh, the red-headed guy. I don't know who anyone is. Is that an actor? <laughs> Bobby Axelrod is the name of the character. Oh, okay. That's He's th- played by John Gunn. Which is, which is <laughs> <laughs> the name, like, a five-year-old would give a finance guy. Yeah, exactly. What about, uh, uh oh, yeah, uh, Bobby Axelrod? <laughs> it's him, it's Tommy Bucks. <laughs> Cash Johnson. I think one guy's name really is like Tony Dollars or Tony something. Tony Dollars. That's why I got into this business. <laughs> I'm like a dentist whose last name's Teeth. <laughs> Although I guess then you'd get into Dr. Teeth, the band from the, the sure. Muppets. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're here live with Ashton Kutcher in Indian makeup. <laughs> He's what doing do you, his famous character Raj. What from do the you have to say for set. yourself? I think it is very funny. <laughs> I'm doing a commercial for a snack no one will remember no except for knows, this commercial. No one knows what pop chips. <laughs> that's <laughs> gotta be that's great. I wonder if Ashton could your see if we got any concept. pop chips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you know what pop chips are, send us Ashton Kutcher. Uh, a lot of pistachios, some sun chips. That is pretty cool. Apple They're chips. Like, what are we going to do with that? Did you give that homeless man apple sauce or apple chips? I gave him um, a, a package of apples. I gave a homeless guy apple sauce. You're carrying around? You're, you're well, ho- I've got little packaged apple sauce. You're it's like I'm a mom. You holding apple sauce? <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm a mom with kids at the park. No, I gave him a, a homeless guy apple sauce and a bag of popcorners. And then he went, what's this? And I went, it's apple sauce. And then he went, what's this? And I went, I don't know. It's from a plane. <laughs> and then I drove away. <laughs> So if you're a homeless guy in, I think, Winston-Salem, maybe even Charlotte, North Carolina, if you're that homeless guy, look up Ashton Kutcher plays racist character in Pop Turns Chips out commercial. you're a race trader. Yeah. <laughs> You've been eating racist snacks. That is great, because Ashton Kutcher is somebody who's like, he, I don't even think he thinks of himself as an actor anymore. I don't think so. Because he does all that, like, investing shit and, yeah. like... He's like, oh, well, I'm he's a, an activist as well. Yeah, he's like, I'm an activist. Entre- I'm an entrepreneur to this. They're like some bullshit. <laughs> no, it is funny to think of him in the Pop Chips ad. They're, they're like, are you hiring me as an actor? All or right. uh, He's like, I want to get involved with Pop Chips because I believe in the product. All right, one last job. <laughs> one last job. <laughs> Paint me up. It's also wild because like, I can understand an actor being like, hey, I just do what script they give me. My job is to be a vessel for the project. That's true. And Ashton Kutcher, he's he should have more of a demand of it. Yeah. So he should be looking at that script and going, I'm going to run this through numbers. I'm going to give yeah. this to an analytics team. I'm going to give this to my friend Raj. I'm going to give this to an Indian guy I know. <laughs> and and then, see what he says yeah. <laughs> about me dancing very weirdly. Yeah. That would be cool if that... Ironically... Turns out that's the most authentic part. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Just an Indian guy not knowing how to dance. The lesser known Bengals hit, dance like an Indian. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian, and then the B-side, dance like an Indian. <laughs> it's all in the hips. And then there's like a new wave. <laughs> like, just thrust your pelvis. <laughs> I was I was at work the other day. Indian and... people dance, kind of like the Bollywood dancing, it's kind of like... So uh, it's kind of like they they uh, they're imitating. They saw someone have sex, but they, the, par- the parents were like, "No, it's just dancing." They, 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 no, we were me and dad were dancing, and then and someone's like, "I'm going to dance." <laughs> Lilo, right. stop right, biting buddy. Eric. Well, I'm my letting, dog's on the pod. I'm letting him do it. Anything you want to add about racism? As a brindle dog, you're a no. You just want to <laughs> lick it. Okay. She's interested in the sock <laughs> that's on the microphone. Wind sock. Tube you ever had sock. a wind sock? What? You mean like a condom? <laughs> Lilo. Oh, wow. Now you really do. You don't like even have anything to add to wind sock. You're a dog. I teased you. You've never the dog. been on mic. <laughs> <laughs> 
just wants to bite you no, so she's bad. she's very excited for some reason. I don't well, know what this is. It's because also her asshole is very puckered. Oh, yeah. Have you been doing something no. to it? I've been giving her sour apple pucker. <laughs> I've been, she's been butt chugging apple pucker. <laughs> you know who really does not like my theory that women have sex with dogs? Oh, women. women. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> dogs probably are psyched about it, though. Women, do, dogs <laughs> love it. Dogs are real damn. Dogs are like, God damn. Are you going to be closer to the smell? They call it the smell. <laughs> dogs probably call vaginas the smell. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever how close have you gotten to the smell? the smell i licked it once i licked the smell once <laughs> and then one guy's one dog is smoking a cigarette at the corner yeah. of the bar like someone let me in the smell once oh no i don't think ladies have sex with dogs i but think you know it would be because i do think that's... my theory is not that women have sex with dogs it is that more women than men have sex with dogs. oh well that probably is true probably yeah, that is probably true. <laughs> I think it's 100% yeah. true. And then my only uh, my only other the only other public person who agrees with me unfortunately a woman. Andy Dick. Oh, really? <laughs> That's Andy Dick now or Andy Dick, <laughs> Andy Dick in specific periods of history? Andy Dick on Norm's podcast is... That's a, that's a sober moment of Andy Dick. Yeah, he tells the story. He's like... he's it's not like, like you're like Andy Dick in the back of an RV now. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> on a GoPro. <laughs> Andy Dick said it... Andy next, Dick said it while having management. <laughs> next, to a, next to a gay, meth-addled prostitute yeah. who's his guest... Yeah. Andy Dick set into a microphone being held in a guy's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he thinks women fuck dogs. Yeah, he says, uh, when I see a woman with a big dog. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. I think what happens more Can so... Can you not? Lilo, That's stop actually it. a bit much. I think uh, what more so probably happens is uh, dogs have sex with ladies. <laughs> well... If a woman can't fight no, off a dog. No, because that's like a Reddit 4chan meme now. 8chan. Women fuck chan. dogs? No, but people be like, women fuck dogs. Yeah, you don't know about that? I, I didn't know I had brethren. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you'll see like open mic comics do it, where they're like, you can tell they only know online stuff. Yeah. And then they're at like a brewery with 20 people <laughs> of different ages, and they're like, so you know how women be fucking dogs? You know women love dogs, And everyone's dude. like, we don't know that. Also, why are you wearing a Cumbtown shirt in public? <laughs> <laughs> also... <laughs> Why are you wearing a Richard Gere Museum t-shirt? Yeah. No, but women fucking dogs, which I think what maybe is going to happen. Is that all this? Oh, women <laughs> that's, are... what's, that's the future of women. No, it will be because women now, like now women are like, we don't fuck dogs. That's a 30 year old woman's going to be like. And people say like, they're like. Uh... A 30 year old woman is hearing a 20 year old say women fuck dogs. They go, that's not true. But then a 10 year old girl is hearing a 20 year old say women fuck dogs. Yeah. And then they're like, huh, I guess I'll put peanut butter on the shopping list. <laughs> People are like, wait until they invent uh, a sex doll for women. Men will be uh, obsolete. It's like, well, dogs exist. That would be a meme that you'd probably see on 4chan. <laughs> Do you mean Skippy? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean your dog? Do you mean your great Dane? I wonder if a dog would even know what's going on. That's true. They're like, this lady's a... playing. <laughs> She's into it, too. <laughs> He has the same feeling. It's like when my dad pulls the toy and goes, Arr, yeah. as he pulls it. Yeah, the dog has the same feeling that Lilo just had when she was biting my hand. Yeah. Like, this, they're going along with it. Yeah, this is fun. fun. <laughs> We're having a good time. The dog doesn't know that they're condemning both of them to a life of hell. <laughs> It would be funny, a dog in hell. And it's like, well, you fucked that girl. <laughs> It's like what? You shouldn't have fucked that girl. He's like what? I was showing dominance. I was. I needed to let her know who was in charge. The dogs on trial. They're like, but it was okay when I fucked uh, the cushion. So wh wh where? Where does I the fucked line... the guy's leg? No problem. No problem there. I fuck a lady's smell. Suddenly... I fuck the smell. <laughs> Suddenly I'm. <laughs> I plead the smell. I plead the smell. <laughs> I like when dogs know if a lady's on her period. Because they aren't really judgmental. They're just like, oh. What's up? What's up? 
You want some chocolate? Yeah. I can't have any. I can't have any. You want some? <laughs> but I've got some. In Paris, there are period dogs that roam the streets with backpacks of chocolate <laughs> smelling women's crotches. <laughs> Wow, Norway really is progressive. Yeah. <laughs> they have dogs. You get a, a bit of a Toblerone if one smells your cooch. <laughs> women are women in Norway are flea free bleeding for this weird reason. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think early on with cavemen, like a woman would get her period and then she'd be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" and then she like runs to the cave and there's blood following him. And then the tribe is like, what happened? And she has to be like, uh, a saber tooth cut my pussy. <laughs> She's got a hatchet wound. <laughs> is that where axe wound comes? Holy mammoth tusked me. Is that where axe wound comes from? Probably. <laughs> I bet in the old days the rumor was that women were fucking woolly mammoths. And they're just too big. On the old walls of the cave wall of 4chan. <laughs> Yeah, why aren't there any people are like, oh look, there's they have the the handprint on the wall. Why aren't there ever two like no. this? Oh, good question. <laughs> and then that some, and then some dried blood at the bottom. Yeah, of it. that is true. <laughs> well, that is uh, the Pompeii or whatever. They're all they're all just. All the graffiti is just like you're gay. <laughs> no, kind of, yeah. yeah all the, no, all I, the no, not, not, I'm trying to think of what names people had in Pompeii. Yeah, Vasilius's penis is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Toblerone's uh, Toblerone could be a good <laughs> Toblerone. That'd be a good fake name. Like you go to like uh, some con somewhere that doesn't have like contact with the rest of the world. Yeah. And you're wearing a big Panama hat, and you're like, "My name's Toblerone." My name's Toblerone Johnson. My name's Toblerone. And then you like start a rubber plantation. My name's Toblerone Skeet. <laughs> you start a rubber. And I'm plantation. here to teach y'all how to make matches. <laughs> they make the matches. It's so successful that the town gets developed. <laughs> and you die, you move, you for, you don't care anymore. Yeah. And then people are like, "Wait, that guy Toblerone's a candy." <laughs> <laughs> you ask for a light one day, and someone <laughs> hands you a book of Toblerone Skeets matches. Yeah, and you're like, "Wait a sec, I think that guy who founded all of our shit was a liar." <laughs> He just had really high boots. It's some cargo <laughs> cult, and then like a, a like a U.S. Navy guy lands there in the Pacific Theater. I think they called it a theater. The theater. Where's the popcorn? <laughs> Let's the, all go to the we're in Pacific Theater of World War II. A bunch of Polynesians watching Japanese <laughs> kamikaze planes with a big old thing of milk duds. <laughs> Uh, I love a milk <laughs> No, but they go, a cargo cult lands, and a guy gets out, and then he's aware of the concept. He's like, oh, these islanders are probably going to worship me and think of me as some sort of god. Yeah. And he's just like, my name is uh, Balls Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's laughing the whole time. My name's Fart Poop. <laughs> Fart Poop. <laughs> he's like, they're like, oh, do you have a special symbol? And he's like, yeah. And he draws a swastika and he keeps laughing. And he's like, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> when National Geographic comes here in 50 years, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it is going to be really cool. <laughs> Just a bunch of swastikas and tits swinging. A swastika made out of coconuts on the beach. <laughs> That's how they make the plane yeah. land. There's a survivor challenge that they do a lot where it'll be a plane. Who can draw the most swastikas? <laughs> and you had to do it fast. <laughs> nope. Symbol of peace. Symbol Disqualified. Of peace. Symbol of peace. <laughs> Too tilted. This one's a windmill going real fast. <laughs> it's a windmill with action drawn on it. <laughs> draw more. <laughs> it's a windmill. Maybe do the lines a little bit lower to imply that they're moving. <laughs> Why? It's moving fast. The lines are at the end. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> yeah. Don't keep drawing it. Stop drawing it. I got in trouble. I think I've told this story before. But I got in trouble as a kid drawing swastikas all over my homework once. That'll happen. My friend Matt and I both did because we'd watched uh, uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. And we were like, dude, that bad guy symbol so cool. So cool. And then we had a math thing where we'd do the math quiz in school and then you'd pass it to your neighbor and they'd grade it 
And she was like, yeah, you can do like a check or a smiley face, whatever you want. So they know it's good. So then Matt and I, for every right answer, wrote a swastika. So it was like 20 math questions and like 15 swastikas. Do you think we'll and ever... five red X's. <laughs> do you think we'll ever get far enough away from the Holocaust that people are like, uh, like the way people draw like the cool S? Yeah. And it's like, who started it? <laughs> <laughs> Where does this come from? This cool symbol. The swastika people were like, where did that even start? Well, we got in trouble, and the ladies... The, uh, I bet the cool S was a cult. Back it probably in, was. Like, the, like it's the 1400s. SS yeah. It's the forgotten SS <laughs> logo. It is an S. Yeah. It's, it, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, the last two S's in the KISS logo by themselves look like an SS logo. Yeah. And there's a thing in Louisville where someone was like... Oh, look, someone has an SS bumper sticker. It was on, like, Louisville Reddit. And they're yeah. like, sickos like this live in town. And I was like, for all we know, that's a Kiss fan. <laughs> for all we know, <laughs> <they're> just... <laughs> he drives rough. <laughs> New York groove. <laughs> yeah. He... A little too much Detroit Rock City on the highway. First two letters peeled off. <laughs> this fucker's rocking out. Uh... No, our teacher busted us with the swast. She busted us with the Your swast. teacher busted you? That's <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> and she, my friend Matt and I, she was like, this this is inappropriate and we're like why it's from a cool movie it's from indiana jones and then bitch. she went you guys need to talk to your parents and have them explain to you what this is all about it's always weird that teachers try and like enforce things and then they're like talk to your parents about this it's like well you are the one who seems mad the government's paying you to talk to me <laughs> it seems like you're angry my parents are gonna just respond well what are we paying taxes for if i show my dad i gotta this... teach my kid world war ii history <laughs> listen if i show my dad this this honestly a lot of different things are gonna happen <laughs> yeah well, that was also what's weird about it, is you have two like seven-year-old drawing a bunch of swastikas and being like this is cool and then a late and then an adult's like go talk to your parents about the truth behind this <laughs> it's like for all you know we're gonna go home and our parents are gonna be like hell yeah <laughs> thank you son i knew you'd learn i'm glad your teacher thinks you're old enough to know the truth i wasn't gonna say anything i was gonna let you learn through osmosis yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's why I kept showing you <laughs> Osmosis Jones. I'm, I'm glad Miss Jenny is there's, there's a reason Osmosis Jones been on repeat in this house. <laughs> and thankfully, Miss Stangy, she is on it. Wasn't it, wasn't it real people and cartoons? It was. Uh-huh. Eddie, <laughs> How'd they do that? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Was it him? The way that you said it makes me think it wasn't him. No, it was him. The way you said Eddie Murphy and then laughed makes me think it's Chris Rock. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was no, Eddie Murphy. No, it's most jokes. I think it either had... It either had... You have a laptop The real people you. was either... It was Eddie Murphy. He was And the real his person. zit popped on a lady. Oh, he was the real person? Mm-hmm. I remember, and I think he was uh, also the voice of someone. But probably as most. I might Jones. just be thinking of Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> no, Eddie, I'm picturing a white guy in Osmosis Jones. Well, the, who is either the animated Bill character Murray? is blue. No, I'm picturing like oh the one no, that Bill Murray zit is does pop. I think it might be. How did I confuse Bill Murray for Eddie? Murphy? I don't know. <laughs> but the weird thing is, in my mind, it's either it's a fifty fifty Bill Murray. Or Wayne Knight from Seinfeld. It is not Wayne Knight. Which in 1999, kind of even villain. I don't think that movie came out in 1999, and it's definitely not Wayne Knight. Google it. Jamie. Pull, Lilo, pull that Jamie. up. Jamie. <laughs> Siri. Let's do it this way. Osmosis Jones <laughs> debut. YouTube. <laughs> We're going to use the, the YouTube app. Let's see if Hollywood. Hollywood.com. <laughs> Seven years ago. And this is from the premiere. Osmosis <laughs> <laughs> Jones came out in 2017. They're backdating Osmosis <laughs> Jones clips. How many views does that have? Three? 20,000. <laughs> 20, so many views they had to put a K to represent numbers. Osmosis Jones is free. Yeah. And it came out in 2001. Yeah, you can just watch it. Uh, Bill Murray, Chris, Chris Rock! What? Look, Osmosis <laughs> Jones, official trailer, dash, Bill I Murray, think, Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock is the blue thing. <coughs> Look, we can we watch the voices of Osmosis <laughs> Jones. Osmosis Jones. Whoa, check Jones, this out. The Osmosis of. Jones premiere, 20,000 views. Osmosis Jones, the voices of, 
119,000. And that's just part one. People love BTS <laughs> of Osmosis Jones. Almost more than the film itself. God, this movie looks good. <laughs> A bunch of Fuck this podcast. Oh, Bill Murray looks sick. <laughs> he does look <laughs> ill. Go on YouTube and just, <laughs> just Google just type Osmosis Jones and then scroll through the Osmosis thumbnails. Jones was a disgusting movie. I think you're a disgusting man. Yeah, and if it was disgusting... Bionic pig. He's got more views than all these people. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot Imagine of having more views on a movie on a video discrediting Osmosis Jones than the film itself. Bionic pig, you should be ashamed of yourself. Bionic pig, you're a you're a you're a pig. you're a regular pig. Oh look, this one has it looks like it's Kevin that James. That guy has a backwards Kango hat. No, I think or this is a backwards Kango hat. Just right the right way. I think a forward Kango <laughs> hat is nothing. <laughs> I'm wearing a forward Kango hat. Why are they floating in space? <laughs> oh, that's not. Ke- I thought for sure that was Kevin James. It's the director named no, Zach, Zach Penn. Zach Penn. No, he's a producer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he looks a lot like young Kevin James. Did everyone hear that at home? <laughs> it's a buddy cop movie set inside a human body. Inside the human body. It's like 48 hours in your cola. <laughs> 48 hours and you shit it what out. What if we made Midnight Run in a guy's lungs? <laughs> Some coked up. <laughs> what about Tron in your intestines? Let's give Bill Murray a booger. <laughs> what if Bill Murray stinks? Get me stinky Bill Murray and a black guy. <laughs> I don't care. Who. In 20 years, no one's going to know. <laughs> He's blue. Whatever. In 20 years, they're going to think it's Kevin Hart. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Is blue, is, for black people, is blue like a cart? That's what you are in your cartoon? Because uh, white people are often yellow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Was the Skeeter logic blue? You're applying. Was Skeeter from Doug Blue? Skeeter was sort of purple. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's half Osmosis. <laughs> half Osmosis <laughs> Jones, half white. He's, bi- cart- he's cartoon biracial. My dad was a Simpson and my mom was Osmosis Jones. <laughs> and I'm Skeeter. My mom's Marge. <laughs> well, and Marge. my dad's Osmosis Jones. <laughs> so I came out kind of uh, mean. That's on Skeeter. <laughs> I came out very mean. Skeeter wasn't mean, was he? Wasn't Skeeter the bully? No, Skeeter, that was, I don't know who the bully was. Skeeter was his pal, I thought. Oh. Who's coming everywhere. <laughs> Oh, Skeeter, you got it on my shoes. <laughs> Skeeter? Skeeter. Skeeter, they're running out of pants in the nurse's office. You Google Skeeter and it gives you Skeeterboats.com. Skeeter boats? Not what anyone's looking for. No one's looking no for No one's that. like, if you're looking to get a boat, you Google boat. Yeah, you do not Google <laughs> Skeeter. You don't go Skeeter. And be like, I'm looking for boats. Yeah, see, Skeeter was uh, blue. He was blue. Who He's the, Osmosis was, Jones. Was blue. Roger the bad Roger? Guy? I think was the bully. Roger Doug. This is just giving me guy's name. Who <laughs> <laughs> works at a bank? He was green. Yeah, and then he had like bacon coming out of his head. Green with envy. Green with bacon. <laughs> he had a bacon mohawk. <laughs> his mom put a rasher of bacon on his head every morning and sent him off. <laughs> He'd come home and she'd go, "You didn't eat your bacon." <laughs> Your bacon's still on your head, your honey. bacon's still on your head. Oh, look. DeviantArt. Of, if you Google Roger Doug, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th. The 10th image is DeviantArt of Roger and Doug fucking. Oh, hell yeah. It only takes 10. Can you make that full screen? It only takes 10 images to get to that. Bring that up full screen. Oh, you have to probably subscribe. Wait, is this like a store? Can I buy a I print? Think you can of buy this? this print. Oh, it's commission. This is great because it's negatives D09 Tumblr. They drew it, but it's commissioned for Andy to be amazing. So we know two people who are crazy. <laughs> well, it's not crazy so to now accept we can arrest, money. Now we can arrest two people. It's not crazy to accept money for Roger fucking Doug, who seems to be in... Well, it seems like this guy specializes in boys kissing. Yeah, it seems like it's all just cartoons of boys cuddling. That one's just a boy by That's himself. That's just a boy being handsome. 
He's cuddling with himself. That's cuddling. More men cuddling. Imagine looking at this. That one's got a tail. So oh. this is now we're venturing into furry territory. Iron Man and Captain America about to kiss. Maybe they. Well, you don't know that. That's true. I love that someone was looking at this and they're like, "This is the perfect person to be my <laughs> skeeter." Roger. I've been waiting for it to find the perfect vessel. Yeah, like do you shop around? People who get these fan oh, you arts definitely commission. shop around. <laughs> you shop around. If you're a guy who does deviant art, are you constantly getting messages from people being like, "Just trying to price out"? Oh yeah. My wife getting pounded by Charizard, and you're like, "Yeah, I'd love to do that." It'd be like fifty-five bucks. Yeah. And then you never hear back from that guy. A month later, you see a shittier artist with Charizard pounding yeah, like, some wow, guy's wife. I guess he was willing to pay 30 Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, pal. Honestly, I would have done it for 40 Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even try and haggle. Someone should do that. Like, uh, Remember when they... Well, yeah, actually, this is probably the next thing. Because Obama ran, and they were like, Shepard Fairy uh, profile pics. Everybody, all cool kids go. Get Have your profile Obama style. And then Trump ran, and everyone's like, say the N-word. Say, yell <laughs> the N-word as loud as you can. And then, you know, it's like this astroturfing of online stuff. Yeah. And then Biden's team should be You mean like, making it perfect, right? Yeah. No, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, that's what astroturfing is. Itchy and perfect. <laughs> My uncle had AstroTurf on the porch of his trailer, and I always thought it was the coolest thing in the world. What a beautiful sentence. <laughs> I was like, dude. <laughs> well, it was a screened-in porch. My uncle had a screened-in porch with AstroTurf. On his trailer. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the yeah, world. Yeah, I was like, damn, dude, you could putt. Where is a fucking home? flag? I want to salute one. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in this neighborhood, there's got to be a flag. He also had a hat that was hidden that said "Boys in the." It said "Make America Great no, Again." No, he died before that. He had a hat that said "Boys in the Hood," and then it was a picture of a KKK guy doing like a gangster <laughs> stance. <laughs> But it was like hidden, and I remember finding it once. And my aunt. But where do you wear it? When do you I know. take it out of hiding? But my aunt was very like upset that I'd found it, and was like, "Oh my!" And I just like, yelled at my uncle. And That's I, something he ordered off Amazon. I was about to say that, <laughs> and then was like, "Well, actually, where am I going to wear it?" <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, I don't really know where I'm going to wear it. Had this. it not been for her reaction, I would have been like, this guy's a racist. <laughs> but because of the reaction, I'm like, this is a bit that aged poorly. <laughs> it's like, I guess this is... You went to a gag white elephant party in 1998. <laughs> this is sort of a prank. Yeah. <laughs> Boys in the hood. <laughs> That would be funny to find out he was, like, now they're like, we have footage from the 80s in Toledo, Ohio, where KKK members are attacking black youths, and they're all just wearing those hats. I'm like, oh, no. Uh-oh. I Rogers. Thought, I thought it was like when when Larry David wore the MAGA hat, and it was funny. He was just trying to get everyone to ignore him. God damn, the new season of Curb is dog shit oh i haven't seen it i heard it's bad it's very bad i heard it's bad i heard it from a sheep <laughs> a sheep told me it was bad anything fun going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> it was bad any jokes written in here <laughs> what are we talking that's about that's just math <laughs> that initially led us to swastikas uh just how we feel <laughs> oh my fun cargo call <laughs> Oh, uh, I did have a fun interaction at the uh, the corner store the other day. Yeah, it is hard now. Whenever I draw a four 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 fanned windmill, I have to just draw an arrow that says a picture of moving. It's moving. I can't illustrate this, but a picture of moving. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just as bad as Chevy Chase, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what he was doing. Making a windmill. <laughs> Joel McHale uh, recently admitted that he dislocated Chevy Chase's shoulder. Yeah, it's kind of, that keeps popping up, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I would Is never... this connected to the Vince McMahon scandal if somehow? I, <laughs> if I dislocated an elderly man's shoulder, 
doesn't matter what how much of an asshole he was i would not tell anyone no i would never <laughs> It's like, I injured a, <laughs> an octogenarian. Yeah. It'd be like, yeah, my grandma popped off too much. So, you know, pow, pow. He's like, I guess I was just amped up from my days on talk soup. <laughs> I thought I was invincible. I thought I could just punch an old guy. I thought I could. Ju- he also described it as horseplay. Yeah, you're doing some horseplay. <laughs> well, Chevy Chase is a physical. He's a- also, horseplay. What are you, a girl? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That works in two ways. Many ways. Horse girls. <laughs> Check out my new book, From Horse Girl to Horse Girl. <laughs> Published on Tijuana Press. From horse girl, all lowercase, to horse, horse girl. girl. <laughs> capital H, in capital G. Shining lights. <laughs> in neon. <laughs> You have to plug this book in. In the middle, there's a part about how I tried to be a singer, but I lost my voice. In the middle, there's a part that's been redacted yeah. legally. In the middle, there's a part about her trying to try out for Broadway, but her voice was too weak. It was from horse girl to horse girl to horse girl. But the publishers were like, this is a bit much. This is... What are we going to do with this? Yeah, we need to cut out part of this. Um... But no, I had a I had a fun interaction at the uh, corner store oh. where I walked in and uh, the pop corner store. I walked into the pop corner store. <laughs> Very pop, specialist. Is it because it's popcorn, but they've made it into a shape? I that, think it's corn chips, but they're shaped like corners. That well, that's because <laughs> pop corners. You're like, what the fuck is that? But then you say it slower. You're like popcorn, errs. Which means someone was like, it's popcorn meets corners. <laughs> Which it's like, well, what? Huh? Like the burnt part? <laughs> angular pop. Like, is it angular popcorn? <laughs> we found a way to make popcorn into shapes. And the ad's racist. Damn. <laughs> we made popcorn into a tortilla so you can dip it into butter. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> And so I have to melt butter to yeah, enjoy dip it this in trip. Movie, you're at the movie theater with a little cup of butter and your popcorn is. <laughs> I'll take popcorn. Hold the corn. Hey. <laughs> it's a soda. <laughs> I'll have a soda. I ordered it weird. I went and saw uh, Pretty Things. You with, saw a movie? With my lady. Uh, yeah, it was at good. At the theater. At the theater. I heard it was good. I don't care about the movie, but how was your experience at the theater? Uh, Well, we went to a late showing, and it was the only movie that was playing at the that that late hour. And then you get out and you feel like you're locked in. We were the only people in the theater. Wow! And halfway through the movie, I looked over at her and I went, "Hey, uh, if we hadn't gone to this movie, that dude could have gone home like three hours ago." I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> well, if there's no one there, that's they can true. close. That is and she true. used to manage a movie theater. Oh, really? Yeah. And they let him go? So when I told her that, she was like, well, one person would, like, what happened is one person has to stay. Uh-oh. And I was like, okay, cool. And then we left, and there was just a dude trying to do a kickflip outside <laughs> in his movie theater polo. That's awesome. <laughs> and I was like, eh, uh, you'll, you'll get it down one day. <laughs> That'd be fun at the movie theater. You're like, I'll take um, the 8 a.m. showing of the new Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> I'm trying to get cut. <laughs> I'll take the Midnight My Little Pony. Damn it, this one's always full. <laughs> and I got to mop up the gum. <laughs> Oh, uh, from My Little Pony to Horse Girl. It was a good movie. It, that's what I've heard. It's a good film. Emma Stone's done it again. First super bad, now this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great way to describe her career. Yeah, I mean, yeah. She's lucky Lindsay Lohan became a trouble. That's that's a that's, that's true. She did take all of Lindsay Lohan. That's a Reddit roles. comment I read the other day, and I thought that's stupid. And then it's since stuck with me, and I'm like, maybe. Yeah, no. If Lindsay Lohan had fallen off the rails a little bit earlier, yeah, we have Emma Stone in Mean Girls. Yeah, 
And Kirsten Dunst was like, there's a period where she's like, I've got red hair, I'm in Spider-Man. And then people are like, she'll be the one. And then she was like, no, I'm actually blonde. And they're like, never mind. I want to fuck Jesse Plemons. Yeah. Okay. You know that guy's name? <laughs> you know Fat Damon's We name? both remembered his name. I know his name. The last time we were together. I know his name. <laughs> I'm just meeting him, and after 10 minutes of him angry at me, I go, No, I know your name! I know it! <laughs> Clemens! Jesse Dunst! <laughs> you took her name. You took her, it's old fashioned. <laughs> You're old fashioned, Matt Damon. I want to be old fashioned. I'm going to take my girlfriend's whole name when I get married. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be Eric Vagina? <laughs> I'm gonna be Eric Hole. <laughs> I'm gonna take my girlfriend's whole name. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eric Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> My maiden name is uh, Sorgal. <laughs> I listened to a thing about Anita Bryant, and she did that when she got married. She was like, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. whatever her husband's first and last name is. And then people are like, woo! And then the next day she was like, oh, no, publicly I'm still Anita Bryant. Yeah, that's my name. Zero part of my name will be changed. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, gay people suck. I hate now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to wear ball gowns and sing kitschy songs. <laughs> Wait, why isn't my career going well? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where did I go it's wrong? It's the 90s. Where are all the people who love retro, <laughs> kitschy stuff from the old days? <laughs> why are they coming happened? to see me with their boy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. She told me at one point she moved to Eureka Springs, and she was like, God told me to sing, and she was like a Christian lady. She was like, God yeah, told me so to... So she went to the most lesbian part of America. I was going to say, Eureka Springs <laughs> is now a town known for, like... I think probably back then it was, too. It's a been little known bit. known for that for a while. And she was like, Branson, uh... Branson's <laughs> Branson <laughs> kicked me out. No, she was like, Branson's <laughs> trying to steal me. And then, uh, she's like, but God told me to go to Eureka Springs. And then next year she went to Branson. <laughs> 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 I, did I tell you about the old man I know from Eureka Springs? No. He uh, he talking has, about Lake? <laughs> no, I wish. I asked him if he knew Lake, and he said he does not. Oh, you talking about the guy who got uh, the, the world record for the yeah, longest I bong hit? Yeah, I told you, no, not longest <laughs> bong hit. Renaga, badmouth Renaga Fabriza. <laughs> A white guy who somehow has the name Renaga Fabriza. <laughs> no, he uh, moved to Eureka Springs and made the world's largest tuned musical wind chimes. Which means somewhere there's a larger wind chime that sounds like that shit. Sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> Just dog shit. And somewhere there's an even larger wind chime that makes no sound. <laughs> but it's like a wind chime in a technical sense, I guess. It's a wind chime, but it's too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> The wind's not strong enough. <laughs> no, but he's got that record. And then he moved to... He left Eureka Springs because... It's, it's too small for him. I'm too that's big for my town. Yeah. I'm too big for Eureka Springs. He told me, he's like, I came to... Fa I was coming to Fayetteville for work. It was a college town. And one day I looked around and I thought, why would I live anywhere else? And I was like, I'm going to tell the cops that. Why, why you? wouldn't you? <laughs> Impregnate an 18-year-old. <laughs> I'm like it's not legal, but it's it's not illegal. It's frowned upon. <laughs> tell the police you're a pedophile. I'm there, just guessing. Yeah, but I, I think I'm right. There should be a thing because uh, I remember when I used to do debate. If you introduce bills, like in Congress, you can introduce like a law, or like there's two other things which are basically like, hey, do we all agree it'd be a good idea to like make America slightly less racist? Make it great like, again. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if he thinks it's like dumb shit like that, it's like, hey, let's all look into stem cell research. Like, yeah. Like, sure. But it's like, well, nothing changed. Like, no law has changed. We just agree this is the track that it's going on. Well, did you not see that SNL sketch with the stem cell? No. Oh, my God. But so I was going to say, funny. we need to make, a, they should do legal things like that, where it's like, it's not illegal, but it's frowned upon. Yeah. Like, we're not, you're not going to go to jail, but we're going to put it in your record. I would like a gray area, yeah, where it's like, also, when he was, uh, when he was 27, he did date, like, a 19-year-old. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I guess that's legal, but it's why upon. don't you tell everyone you meet that? Yeah, how about you go around, how about you go around telling everybody that? 
If it, if you don't have a problem with it, I don't see why you shouldn't. <laughs> you're 29, you're hanging out in someone's someone's apartment that's close to their classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. This uh, this is nice student housing. Yeah. <laughs> when were you born? What year is this? 97. Huh. When were you? 2002. Hmm. Anyways. 97 was your example of an older person? I was trying to not make it my age. No. I was going to say, to me, 97, I'm still like, holy shit, this person's young. Oh, yeah, no. And Although, I guess 97 is like, you're 27 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you can have a six-year-old <laughs> illegally. You can't have kids legally until you're 21. No, it's so... It's frowned Can upon. you not? Okay, that was... Lilo, you're licking the man's thing. <laughs> That's the wrong smell. Lila, do you want? I'll give her a treat. Although, hey, it might it might be the rat. Yeah, smell. I was gonna say maybe I shouldn't give her a treat. It, now. it might be the rat smell from earlier. You know hey. what I'm saying? Hey, a little combo. <laughs> it is funny the idea of women fucking dogs <laughs> because like the dog does the work with the woman. Yeah, the woman is a pillow princess yeah. for the dog. There's yeah. no way to you yeah. can't ride a dog. Yeah. <laughs> So I do think if I do think in a weird way if, if they're lazy lovers. If only one if we're in a debate type thing where it's which is which should be legal. I say, yeah, women should be able to fuck dogs. There's a guy fucking a dog, it's like, hey. That's way too much. It's not like work. the dog's backing it up and you know, like, <laughs> the dog's grinding on you. It's not like the dog was a tease. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think when I listen, I'm all for it. I remember one time I espoused this theory. It was when I was still working at that Irish place. Was when I was still working as a dog walker. <laughs> when I was still working as a dog walker. <laughs> but uh, no, I was uh, hanging out with uh, I can't remember his fucking name. Not that I need Just to say out it. With the dog. But, <laughs> but uh, I was hanging out with a dude that I worked with at Hilltop, and two of a friend of his came up and like her boyfriend and he was like oh yeah i was just talking to eric about how uh, all women fuck dogs <laughs> trying to like fuck with me yeah and i was like well i mean I, I i i just think more women fuck dogs than men and she was like really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i had like a conversation with him and then they got up and like walked away and then he was like that girl really did not like you and i was like Really? <laughs> I was like, really? I was just trying to tell her how I felt. <laughs> I th you brought it up. <laughs> yeah. You didn't say you didn't make your claim. You fucked me up, Rob. What you didn't. Fuck? You didn't state who was who. <laughs> Which side are you on? Yeah. I think more guys fuck snakes. <laughs> I get a python. I curl it around my penis. <laughs> It's like a yeah. flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> that would be terrifying. What animal would you fuck? Probably like a... I guess if a bear could be calm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're a chubby chaser. <laughs> that would be comfy. <laughs> well, animals, it's not like you're looking... It's not like you're like, what animal's analogous to a woman? No, you aren't. It's not like you're going to be like, oh, uh, a nude... Shaved marmoset with that's that's milking. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, you don't want to pick a small animal. No, because that's that, that's, that's why creepy. bear seems nice. Bear seems nice. I'd fuck a zebra. Why? Uh, just so you can show just, up everyone who fucks horses. <laughs> <laughs> what is six legs and is uh is me fucking an equine? And then people are like a horse, and then you're like no zebra. Zebra. Gotcha. Did it. And then they walk away, and then their coworker goes, I did not like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was fucking weird. <laughs> the zebra guy. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that phrase? <laughs> I do like to have... What is a... <laughs> six legs and is me fucking an animal? <laughs> oh, wait, I know this one. Uh, he stood on an ice cube. <laughs> His dad was the doctor. His, no, his mom was the doctor. <laughs> I do like having to imagine, like... The boyfriend driving her home, like yeah. driving, like driving home together, and she's just like, "What the fuck was that?" And he's like, "I don't know, man. Like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> this stranger said you fuck dogs. Who gives a shit?" And she's like, "What? All women fuck dogs? 
I like, like to imagine. Bet on 4chan. <laughs> I like to imagine the conversation went like, and then later he's like laying down and he's like, you know what? She was a little defensive. Yeah. <laughs> it ruins their marriage. <laughs> she's I always, like, she's like, I'm taking the dog for a walk. I and do. He's always. like, I don't like that this is heated up, and it always leaves <laughs> you with the dog. Yeah. He's like, it's one thing if you were mad, and then you're like, I'm going for a walk. You watch the dog. Yeah. But now you're angry, and you're taking the dog. You're passionate with the dog. In lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> Since when? I mean, I know you bring treats sometimes on the walk to encourage good behavior, but the, a jar of Skippy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and a hotel room key? <laughs> It's you, and you're like a seedy motel. And it's like a pay by the hour motel. You're working. Do you have rooms that allow pets? Someone shows up with like a dog at like 11 p.m. I just need it for an hour. <laughs> you're like that dog looks nervous. And you're like, it's just, there's a thunderstorm outside. <laughs> He's just excited. He's excited. <laughs> An owner comes in. Is my dog in here? <laughs> I'm looking for my dog. Wait. Have you seen my dog? Man, that dog is over. Uh... Hold on, I gotta do math. It's a room 32. It's over two and a quarter years old, ma'am. There's nothing legally you can do. <laughs> legally? <laughs> that man can do whatever You adopted he... this dog two, and a... two years and three months ago? I'm sorry, ma'am. My legal. hands are tied. It's a legal adult. <laughs> Now, my favorite thing is, when I do bring that argument up, my favorite thing is when women get angry. Because, of course they do. Why would they not? That's a wild... Don't fuck a dog. <laughs> that's a wild You should accusation. just do it, like, grade school style. Like, then why are you mad? That's exactly <laughs> what I do. Because I just go, well, you're getting pretty defensive. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it's true if a lady would just went, that's hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> but they always get so mad. They get mad. <laughs> That's why I always have ladies with lady dogs. I say, you keep that cock out of here. Yeah, no no cocks in this house. That would be funny to see a dog with a strap on. <laughs> my dog begs me. Her I'm dog, gay. Is the dog, her dog <laughs> running around the house, like, excited if they have a strap on flopping around? <laughs> it's like hitting its drip. It's catching on, like, door hinges and shit. They're, like, full dripping on it. <laughs> For some reason, it yelps like it's actually attached to its body. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't Your mean to make a dog licking, noise. It's, it's just licking its own <laughs> strap on, like, feverishly. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hot. <laughs> if I buy a strap on, will you put it on Lilo? <laughs> Got a head running around. <laughs> My dog's a unicorn. <laughs> I don't don't go near the unicorns at the pride parade. <laughs> They're dogs with dildos on their head. And they're looking for the smell. <laughs> they want the smell. They want the smell. They're hungry for the smell. <laughs> I know the smell. It's a woman. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, dogs! You idiot! <laughs> Read a fucking book. moron. They're gonna give Neuralink to dogs. I hope so. Elon Musk is gonna. They're fucking dumb as shit now. They put a dog's brain in Brendan Schaub years ago. <laughs> they did surgery on a grape. Yeah. No, Brendan Schwab flipped his car. Yeah, because dogs don't know how to drive cars. <laughs> so he got excited. He saw a red ball and he went, "Ooh!" He turned the wheel real fast and he rolled it. <laughs> Did you watch that video? I actually watched the video like the moments before you got here. Oh, it's so good. He flipped. What hat was he just out driving? In the middle He's of trying nowhere? to do a donut. <laughs> Is he like in the desert? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's trying to do a donut in his pickup truck. He doesn't it. realize it's not like there's no weight in the back. Yeah. So it's like not a good idea. No. <laughs> Trucks in general, it's like Jiminy Christmas, man. You got to be careful. Yeah. You got to weigh the bed down. I used to flip semis all the time. <laughs> I used to drive them off the bridge. Remember how Mike Mayberry told us he derailed two trains? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about that, and I was bringing that up to people who, like, whenever they're like, I work in the trains, I'm always like, I heard you can kind of just, like, fuck around. Like, people just walk around. And I told someone the other day, and they went, ah, it sounds like the trains. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I met Mike Mayberry's like equivalent in North Carolina. Who's like, oh yeah, no, I, I derail trains all the time. Oh yeah, it's easy. I'm bad at my job too. <laughs> oh, it's honestly harder to not derail. Yeah. Them. <laughs> well, that's what he said. Was he said he derailed it, and then they were like, you can't have this job anymore. We're, we have to promote you. So you're no longer in the position to possibly derail trains. <laughs> Now you have my job. Yeah. You have to yell at people who derail trains. That happened at the restaurant I worked at, at the what the fan twenty one C, the fancy place. There's a guy who was a busser and a food runner, and he was so they were like, you can't. He, he tried multiple times to be a server, and then yeah. he's like, yeah, this isn't working. And then he was there long enough that they're like, you know what? You can be an assistant manager. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, Tony, the guy who isn't good enough to do the job, he's now <laughs> bossing us a lot. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, what was the name of the thing that you used to scoop the crumbs off? The table table caddy or some shit? I never used those. Yeah, I know you did. I forgot about those. How did you know about that? Because I think all the time about how your manager, maybe it was the bus boy, about how your manager was like, told you to use it, and you were like, I don't know, man, it's just like, whatever, who gives a shit? And they were like, they're paying $40 for eggs. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> No, so much of that job at a fancy restaurant is just like, you're like, oh, you show up three hours early and dust all the chandeliers. <laughs> and then you have one table and their bill's going to be $1,000. And as long as you don't fuck up that one table, it'll pay for yeah, your eight-hour work day. <laughs> you're good. No, I... No, that I was... place sucked. Yeah, it was little things. It looked like... Like a, a nail... Like a curved nail yeah, file. Yeah, it's like a curved nail file. And they're like, yeah, you just get a little napkin and you... You sweep the crumbs off the table. Like, Which, why don't I just clean the table? I would be insulted if I was eating and someone's like, you ready for dessert? Oh, you were supposed to do that while they were sitting there. Yeah, you're doing it like between uh, shit. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, because you fully change the tablecloth every table. Are you serious? Yeah. They're paying $40 for it. In between, <laughs> like, uh, courses? Yeah, it's like in between courses. They're like, oh, they got the bread. And it's like, oh, let me get some of your bread droppings out of the way. That's absurd. Yeah, and wouldn't you be insulted if you're like, ah, I did a good job eating my appetizer. Yeah, I would be like, God damn, how fucking messy am I? Someone's like, time for the bib. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move you over to this table. Yeah. You guys ruined this one, this clearly. This table is funnel-shaped with a, with a trash can in the bottom. If you want to drop a quarter in it, watch it spin yeah. around. <laughs> no, you clean the... I think it's called, like, table... So I don't know. That shit... It sometimes, has a weird name. Sometimes I'll run into... Uh, people from who like where my boss is there now yeah and they'll be like uh because they'll come to comedy shows not knowing it's me and then they'll be like oh i was here to see my sister who's 50 and is opening for you i guess you're successful <laughs> and i had to be like yeah that's why i was on my phone all the time and not working <laughs> i was booking shows <laughs> and setting up this career that's why you fired me. yeah <laughs> i was very upset about having this job <laughs> yeah i did not enjoy this yeah <laughs> Yeah, this one lady came, and then she always. I was like, "You still work there?" And then she's like, "Oh no, that place was crazy." And I wanted to be like, "Yeah, that, that, I knew that." And you bossed me around, making me like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "No, that place. They're a bunch of uptight, crazy, rich people." I'm like, "Yeah, no, I know, I know." <laughs> Remember how you fired me when I said that? <laughs> I went into uh, one of the places that I used to work, and I had gotten yelled at because the Haymarket dude came in there one time. Oh, yeah. Um, and I ran. I ended up running into someone. I mean, this was probably like at least a year ago. But I ran into someone, and they said they used to work for him. Like, they just moved here from, like, Buffalo. And they were yeah. like, I didn't know. Oh, they don't know what he knows. Yeah, they yeah. were like, I didn't know. I had no idea. And I was like, yeah, I used to wait on him at blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, he said that he used to go there all the time, and then one time he went in there and the server was really rude, and he thought they messed with their food, and so he never went back. And I was like, yeah, that was, that was me. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was like, that was me. I did mess with his food. I didn't give a shit when he said it was too salty. I added the salt. Yeah. <laughs> No, that guy sucks. And then I went into the place I used to work to eat, and I told the owner that story, and then I just saw his face just be like, what? why are you telling me yeah. this? Why are you... 
what else did you do while you and were here? And then he yelled at you? <laughs> he didn't yell oh, at me. He but was he was just, upset. He was just clearly like, if I was you, I wouldn't have told that story to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> he doesn't care about a, a rapist bar owner. <laughs> <laughs> the guy managing your old restaurant isn't like, hell yeah, justice for the women who <laughs> who the law forgot. <laughs> Someone asked me about that guy last night in Cincinnati, and then I was like, I was telling them, and they were like, they, were, they asked me about it in a weird way, where I was like, I almost part of me was like, are these people like friends with this guy? Yeah. Uh, and then it turned out they were not friends with him, and they were asking, because the guy's like, yeah, I feel bad being interested in it, but my band tried to play at his coffee shop like 10 years ago, and he's the only venue I've ever, like, walked out of not doing the show and been like, fuck <laughs> you guys. <laughs> he's like, so when I saw that go down, I was like, yeah! <laughs> he's like, but I feel bad talking to Louisville people, because maybe they're friends with him or, like, know the victim. Nah, yeah, and I was just like, no, that guy sucks! Yeah, and then we, like, high-fived the over Yeah. Even uh, him outside of all that, that's what I told him. Sucks. I was like, I was like, it's wild when he got like canceled because no one in town was like, everyone in town was like, no, we independently also hate yeah, that guy. We hated him for our own reasons. <laughs> yeah, like everyone hates that guy, <laughs> and then now there's a criminal reason. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we'd all just look mean. Yeah. Imagine I if the whole to... town was like, fuck that guy. Yeah. we Honestly, we all didn't want to seem rude. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, he's a serial rapist. And yeah. now I can let there's my no, feelings there's be known. No, uh, there, allegedly. There's no, there's no, like, rape in the story of you telling that guy. And you're just like, yeah, it's this guy around town everyone fucking hates. He's fucking sucks. <laughs> fucks with his food. <laughs> Man, just like okay, all right then. Like you know, uh, you don't get it. He's mean to bands, so you don't <laughs> get your employee discount anymore. You know that, yeah. right? <laughs> now he was seeing. The, it's been three years. We're gonna. <laughs> he was seeing the new Star Wars when I saw it. I was coming out. He was in the new Star Wars. He was in it. Yeah, he played Boba Fett. <laughs> now he. Uh, it was like it was the Star Wars. I think it was the first one when they first came back, or maybe second. Whatever the one. How old are you? The first Star Wars? No, the first new one. <laughs> but I remember going to see it, and I remember he was getting tickets as I was leaving. And I remember I, I was part of me was like, I just run up and spoil the movie for him. Han Solo comes. Back. Han Solo comes back, and the Princess Leia dies. <laughs> I figured you 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 probably should have figured that out because Carrie Fisher is I think dead. Carrie Fisher's <laughs> dead now, and CGI technology isn't up yet. Yeah. Imagine how pissed they are if they're like, "Well, Carrie Fisher died, so we have to kill her off in the movie." And, and then in a like, year later, they're like, "Well, now you could've... Chat GPT yeah, <laughs> you kept her alive for fuck." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should never have announced John Wayne was dead. We should have said he was sleeping for sixty years. <laughs> John Wayne was taking a long nap. <laughs> I learned about siestas. <laughs> That's the worst John Wayne impression I've I don't, ever I've heard. never seen a single moment of John Wayne. <laughs> well, People listen. People always say Pilgrim, but it's like, what movie was he in where he's been called People <laughs> Pilgrim? <laughs> People, when they do John Wayne impressions, this one of the words, I always go Pilgrim. Can we do a... Uh, what, what if Clint Eastwood and the impression is just him uh, saying s racial slurs <laughs> like he has in all his movies? <laughs> No, that's Clint Eastwood, though. Yeah, we're talking John Wayne. Well, John Wayne, they're basically Yo, the same thing. Yo, who right? would win in a fight? <sighs> Let's go to bars well... and ask old men that question. <laughs> Just watch them. <laughs> oh my god! Finally, someone I can get along with in this town. Yeah, <laughs> that's program Chat GPT with questions like that. <laughs> Montgomery Clift wasn't really gay. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> I just know him from that Clash song. And the way they say his name's kind of gay. <laughs> They're like, it's Montgomery, baby! <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone was gay in the 40s. It's weird it's that true. it's taken this long for everything to kind of loop back around where everyone's gay again. It is crazy how people forget the time. I remember learning that. In the 1700s in America, there was like a really gay period also. Oh, yeah. And it's wild when you learn that like, oh, there's periods where everyone's just like, let's all fuck each other. Yeah, we're all gay, I And guess. then 10 years later, they're like, yikes. That was actually shameful. I first I came across be... that from the glam rock. I should be starting a family. I remember being 14 and reading a book about glam rock. 
and they were masturbating. like masturbating. They're yeah, masturbating. <laughs> no, it was I think Mark Boland from T Rex or somebody was like, yeah, the 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 lamest thing you could do is go home alone. And they're like, so it's, if you couldn't get a lady, you'd get a guy. Yeah. And I remember reading that at fourteen and being like. Huh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I guess I'll suck dick. I guess I could be bisexual <laughs> I guess so that I'd seem cool. <laughs> Try to look rad here. Yeah. It is funny because people are like, then you look at David <laughs> Bowie. Sucking dick and being like, looking up like, is this, am I cool? Yeah. <laughs> David Bowie's the equivalent of like when Timothy Shallot, my words, a dress on Vogue. <laughs> yeah. It's David Bowie being like, no, I, I could be gay. And then meanwhile, he's got his mouth on a tit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's fucking a black woman. Yeah. It's like, that's the straight. The straightest person. That's could... the straightest thing to do as a white man. Yeah. Is fuck a black woman. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Let's break that down. <laughs> I don't have a reason, but I think it's true. All right. Well, that's either racist or very progressive. I don't think I don't it's know. racist. No, it's not. They're women. Yeah. Just because they're black doesn't mean they aren't women. I think you're being racist. Someone teaching racists about their like just because they ch- you don't need to say Chinese w- w- who is a woman. They are. There are women who are. They can be Chinese and a woman. They can be Chinese and women. A bunch of guys in boys in the hood hats writing down <laughs> notes. <laughs> Jew equal human. <laughs> when they start that. When that kick up. <laughs> Yeah, you can't be like we're hey we're equal to everybody, but also we're God's chosen people. Yeah, like, that's not the, fair. We're actually the best. Yeah, you can't do. But that. we're equal. You can't be like I'm the president, but I'm just like you. I'm I'm just like no, you aren't because I wasn't elected president. I'm Joe Biden. I'm, I'm just a, like you. No, Joe Biden, I'm just like you. <laughs> that should be his I'm new a hologram. campaign slogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like you. <laughs> I heard that a bird flew into Joe Biden when he was giving a speech recently. And it like blacked out a bunch of the pixels, and then it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be a fun edit. Him giving his speech, and you have a, not fly into him, but just fly in like above his head, and then yeah. hit, like a, you make it look like a jumbotron going out. Who was that politician? Was it Bernie Sanders? Where the bird landed on yeah. his like finger? Yeah, that was great. Imagine if you would have won. Like, with that in there being, like, a turning point of America. That would be great. Because that would be crazy. Because at the same time, Trump got attacked by that eagle. Remember, that was, like, the same, like, week. There was Bernie Sanders giving a speech and a bird landing on his podium and, like, hanging out with him. And then an eagle just being like, Yeah, and then it was Trump at a desk with an eagle, and the eagle tried to attack him. An eagle that he asked to be there. Yeah. He got his own eagle, and it wouldn't cooperate. Imagine you're an eagle and you're getting paid. And you're still <laughs> full of that shit. You're getting fucking dollar bills. Yeah. You're eating Remember dollar bills. Remember when we went to go see Bernie Sanders and we both failed to assassinate him? Oh, yeah. I forgot that we had. We have seen him. I forgot. I got to add that to my list of acts I've seen live. <laughs> I saw him by the river. He was very wet. It was wet. The uh, Uber driver made fun of us for going. <laughs> <laughs> What'd they say? <laughs> the the Uber driver was just like, "Why are you going to this? Where it's a rally." <laughs> it's like it's like why? The only rally I care about is the one that has the checkers logo right, right the around bags. the corner. <laughs> Give me a baconzilla. Yeah, <laughs> everyone will have a baconzilla at this rally. That sounds it, like a thing Trump should have done. <laughs> Because he's like, we're doing a rally. And then it's outside of a rally. I told you, we're doing a rally. I thought I thought after the Four Seasons thing went viral, <laughs> I tried to do more of these. It, it went great. We're, People we're going, think it was an accident. We're going it was to the not. Windy City. Dublin, Ohio. <laughs> Wendy's. Home of Wendy's. <laughs> Off Boyle Avenue. Is that what, is that what uh, it is? Uh, I just think of a street. Uh, <laughs> Did you know Dublin, Ohio was the home of Wendy's? I did not know that. Oh, okay. Is that where uh, Ray Kroc is from? That's from where Ray Kroc is from, and his neighbor Dave Thomas went, fuck you, I'm <laughs> opening my own. <laughs> That'd be cool if there was more shit like that in America, where it's like, yeah, you know Pepsi started 
because the guy lived next to Coke, <laughs> and the Coke guy was so, always like flashing as well. Rob Coke <laughs> was a douche, he was a dickhead. <laughs> and Brian Pepsi, he <laughs> fucked Pepsi's wife. Yeah, don't get me started on Shasta. Oh, dude, Shasta's trouble. <laughs> now you got Starry. <laughs> Shasta was Coke's wife. <laughs> I don't like how lemon lime soda. Cause you got, you had Sierra Mist. You have Mountain Dew. Well, now it's Starry. Yeah, it's all about like uh, it started Mountain Dew. Simple. I don't think lemon lime soda started with Mountain Dew. Simple. Well, for this, <laughs> <laughs> you got you got somebody waking up. They're like, oh, I'm a simple mountain man. Some dew off the ground. And Mountain Dew is not simple. And then society advances, and then now people are like. Who needs Mountain Dew? I like the misty air of the Sierras. <laughs> and then now rich people are like, who cares about that? We're going to, the, going stars! to the stars! <laughs> <laughs> What's the next lemon lime soda going to be? Interdimensional <laughs> consciousness? <laughs> Afterlife beverage. <laughs> Taking DMT forever. <laughs> the soda. <laughs> Tri- fuck Starry. I want Trippy. I want- <laughs> Yo, I heard Joe Joe Rogan should do a podcast where they're on with Cat Williams. He did. What? (laughs) Siri. (laughs) Cat Williams explained all the questions we wanted to know from his previous appearance. Does he really read that many books? And if so, what is his process? (laughs) Here she explained. That was great because someone did ask me that. They went, "Do you think Cat Williams really reads that many books?" And they went, "How do you think he does it?" And I went, "I don't know." And then on Joe Rogan, he does like eight minutes of being like, I read this many books a day. There are this many pages. I rotate them in this way. I have a reference book that I cross-reference. Because <laughs> he says he reads all these books, but he said most of them are 250 pages. That's good. Isn't, that, good short? Isn't that short for a book, though? It's pretty short, yeah. I imagine books being like 400. Well. So if he's just out there and he's like, I'll read Hop on Pop 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like. 250 pages, but also that's like, what kind of books are two? How are you getting? 250 pages is longer than you think. Okay. But like our New York Times books, 250 pages? Some of them. Because to me, 250 pages seems like you're reading a lot of like young adult fiction. No. And like intro guide to. I'm whatever. sure a lot of those books on those shelves are less than 300 pages. Yeah, but I don't know how to read. Well, that's your biggest problem. I don't read 3,000. That's what's stopping you from being Cat Williams. Cat Williams. <laughs> And my height. That, your height, and your uh, ability to speak without your voice shaking. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel great, Joe. Joe, I'm just happy I like Cat Williams. Apparently, after that, Joe... Cat it, Williams, turn the heat on. Apparently, there's a video of him using Joe Rogan's simulator. Like a driving simulator. Like a Joe Rogan simulator? <laughs> like you walk around. <laughs> You walk in, you put it on, you this become a fucking great. retard. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a big cat Williams and a big bald cap. <laughs> this feels great. This is amazing. <laughs> no, Suddenly, I'm never wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Joe Rogan... You can show me any YouTube video and it is real to me. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan's proof that the internet... We aren't ready for the internet. I don't think we are either. Because you know, like, Joe Rogan's like... Years ago, just like, hey, I'm curious. I was wondering. I'm an open minded, curious guy who likes to look at the lighter side of life. Yeah. And then it was just eight years over and going, Nazi, Nazi, <laughs> Nazi, Nazi. <laughs> and then now he's like, fine, fine. I'll, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want. I'll be a Nazi. I'll be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> I'll be a Nazi. I'll let people say whatever the fuck you want. (laughs) Cat Williams, I guess come on my show after I yell at you. (laughs) Tell me that the only appearance of the word transgender is from the (laughs) devil. (laughs) Tell me that transgenders people kiss the devil's asshole. Yeah, he predicted that. That's what I want (laughs) to... I like a Cat Williams, he's like, I predicted transgendered. No, but he also (laughs) says he predicted eating ass. (laughs) He does. That part of that statement that he says is he's like, I predicted the two things I predicted years ago. He says 15 years ago, which I'm like, 15 years ago, trans people were already a thing. And like. 2009, someone was eating ass. Someone was definitely eating ass. Like. (laughs) Some guy out there with the smash down mustache was having a good time. (laughs) Some guy. (laughs) The fucking smelly mustache. I ate some babe's ass in the 90s. 
But that was at Planet Hollywood, and it was a nice pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> Delish. Some babe's ass, sauce on the side, <laughs> sauce on the and side. a glass of Kevin Costner's Water World. <laughs> Can I get home fries? <laughs> That's a reference to the movie Home Fries, <laughs> which no one knows. It was like an Owen Wilson, Drew Barrymore flop from the 90s. <laughs> Oh. And home fries. Those aren't related to the movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just home fries. Just home fries. You're some movie. You're playing at Hollywood's big, and you're a movie studio, and you're like, let's make movies for all of the things that don't have names yet, <laughs> and then our movies will become famous by way of the menu. We'll make fajitas the movie. Fajitas. And then when you go to play at Hollywood, you're like, oh, of the fajitas. You'll think of the movie. The movie. And then you go buy the DVD. <laughs> and you go buy the DVD of fajitas. <laughs> Side of Ranch <laughs> with, with Luke Wilson. <laughs> Dressing on the side with Vince Vaughn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Medium <laughs> Rare. Stanley, starring Robert Downey Jr. Stanley Tucci's dessert menu. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the uh, chef burger from the movie Chef. I'll have the chef salad. It's designed by fucking John Favreau. John Favreau. <laughs> <laughs> they should bring back Planet Hollywood. Is it gone? I don't know. My jacket's not. Do you have a jacket? <laughs> I wish I did. That would be a cool product to have. <laughs> I wish I had a plain Hollywood yeah. jacket. I'd go like this. With, I'd point to it with my phone. Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend was going to buy me the putty j- eight ball jacket from Seinfeld. Yeah. But she's like, I, I could only find like a really expensive version of it. And she's like, and I don't think you'd wear a leather jacket. <laughs> I don't think you would either. No. Even if it had the putty eight ball. <laughs> Eight ball. You got a question? You ask the eight ball. <laughs> Why don't we have dip as a meal? Uh, that's one of my favorite putty quotes. Uh, why don't we? Because that's a thing I've <laughs> that's said. That's my putty impression. Hey. <laughs> I'm putty. I'm putty. <laughs> Would you have dip as a meal? I've eaten hummus as a meal. Yeah. Hummus could be a meal. Hummus is a meal. You could put a bunch of stuff mind. on it. Yeah. I don't know what you mean by that. You ever have hummus in a thing? Like, it's a rice bowl, and there's hummus in it, and you're like, what the fuck? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You ever had, like, a a thing with hummus in it? I've only had hummus as a... As its own As its own thing. That, well, you're lucky. (laughs) Imagine how confused you'd be if you're like, oh, I got the Greek bowl. There's a big dollop of hummus. You're like, what? Do I mix it in? I don't know. You do. Okay. The answer is yes. (laughs) Oh, that, uh... Is this going to be a free one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I met I met uh, a fan in the Whoa. wild <laughs> at the speed. Yeah. Shout out Noah. Noah. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> he, uh, I, I was, know a guy. I was buying uh, postcards. Uh, Who are you mailing them to? Uh, myself. Uh, I wanted them back. <laughs> you're, you're like, I have ideas that I need to timestamp. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I'm doing that method that doesn't yeah, work. That does a, <laughs> that method not that legally has binding. never worked <laughs> ever. <laughs> but I was, I was, uh, I handed him the things, and he was like, "Are you Eric Sorgel?" Whoa! And I just thought that was like, I was like, you just yeah. instinctively ran away. No, I, <laughs> you just instinctively went. Look, I'm just saying, girls fuck dogs more <laughs> than guys. <laughs> Fucking black women is so straight. That's yeah. all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I just thought that was like part of, I was like, I guess I'm like in the system or yeah. something. Not thinking that like, I've given this guy no information. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Eric Sorgel? Good guess. <laughs> Great guess. Keep checking me out. <laughs> um, and then he just like kept going and he was like, he was like, I know Dan. I was like, what? <laughs> Like you're trying to buy drugs from a guy who you haven't been introduced to yet, but someone told you you can buy drugs from. Yeah, I uh, just moved to town, and they told me to go to Mag Bar. And then the Mag Bar bartender is just like, "And do what? Order a drink? Or I, uh, like uh, weed? 
Wheat, wheat, wheat beer? That's what I did when I moved to town. You went to Magbar? Well, a few people told me, like, just go to, Ken Carney actually told me, he's like, just go to Magbar and, like, ask somebody. That's, that's a good guess. And I did, and then the, ever, the two people I asked at Magbar were like, get the fuck out of here. It's 4.30 p.m. Yeah, I was about to say, when did you yeah. go? <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to go to bars in the afternoon. <laughs> I thought it was That's fun. not a good time to buy drugs, though. No, I know. <laughs> well, I didn't know nothing. I was 22. I came from a college town where you bought drugs in a vending machine from your professor. <laughs> <sighs> I, that's that's how little I knew is I showed up to an open mic. I didn't know anybody. And I looked at Kent Carney and I went, that's the guy who's got the weed hookup. <laughs> <laughs> I went essentially straight edge, Mary Ken Carney. <laughs> He's the the guy who looks like Weird Al, but, but not but straight lace. <laughs> weird Al, but Weird Al at the bank. A little more, yeah. Weird Al on a business trip, yeah. <laughs> on a convention for song parodies. Hey, you know where I can get weed? I just moved to town. No, it's, I'm cool. I'm really bad at comedy. <laughs> no, I suck. No, don't worry. I'm one of you. And then I go up and bomb. <laughs> Anyways, where's the weed? Where's the weed at? Where the weed at? Where the, so that guy, he's asking you for weed. He, nice. goes, he goes, does the name Green Jacket mean anything to you? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to write the word anal and put some letters on either end. And you tell me when uh, to let stop. Let me throw a condom over yeah. my shoulder. Does this mean anything um, and he was like, yeah, I know Dan. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, If you would have said Shazbot, he would have let you into the cool <laughs> secret art area of the museum. And then my girlfriend was like. Do you know Dan? Cool. <laughs> Come see the Georgia O'Keeffe's. <laughs> we don't show them to kids. <laughs> my girlfriend was like, well, do you listen to Dan's podcast? And he was like, yeah. And then she was like, well, that that's him. And he was like. Yeah, that's how I know him. Like, <laughs> how else? I don't understand how you thought I knew him. <laughs> he was just asking people if they know me. He's just spreading the word about me. It was lucky coincidence with you, with the next 10 customers. Very good. You just showed them clips on YouTube. Look at it. Look, he moves his hips. <laughs> so. <laughs> he says his girlfriend's vegetarian. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. And look at the con. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> That's always great because I don't do that joke like hardly at all anymore, but I'll still be prepared. So in my merch suitcase, there's a little Ziploc bag full of unlooped condoms. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll be like, oh, yeah, let me, which side do you want a large shirt? Where's my square? And then I'm just pulling out like bags of condoms. And, then, and I don't react because I don't know I should be reacting. And I don't look at them so I don't realize that they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Loose? Loose unlooped condoms. <laughs> Why did he unpackage them and put them into a bag? All right, you got anything you want to share with the people? A, a, a final, a final, what was, what did, what's his name say? Jerry Springer? Final thought. Or Final something? thoughts. Final sure. th is that what it was? I have no idea. Wrap up time. Wrap up time. You would turn a chair around and sit in it and go, let's wrap. <laughs> I'm Adrian Brody in a movie. I'm teach I'm a cool teacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm Ryan Gosling in that movie where he does a heroin. And then at the end, there's a Defiance Ohio song. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> that blew my mind. Is it? <laughs> you seen Blue Valentine? Oh, that one's... Yeah. The Ryan Gosling era. <laughs> Blue Valentine, Half Nelson. You know, he's got a band. End of list. <laughs> what band Lars is and the Real Girl. He's in a, oh. That's on the list. Oh, I wasn't into that movie. I, I've the, never seen the it. The doll thing creeped me out. I, it, me as well. Because that was that wave. That was when I was still into movies. Yeah. So I was like, oh, what, a, what an epic time for cinema. Juno, Lars and the Real Girl, <laughs> Charlie Bartlett. <laughs> It's like I'm living in the 70s. Am I possibly just 17? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Movies have never been as good as they are now. I Heart Huckabees? <laughs> Come on, What a man. gem. 
<laughs> my parents could never appreciate art like this. <laughs> then meanwhile, my mom's like, I love Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, mom. You don't get it. Your mom's the one who rented it yeah. and showed it to you. That is great. The idea of like, oh, is it golden age for indie movies? It's like, if they were so indie, why was I getting with a public library? <laughs> That's not very, yeah. actually, very independent. That's pretty indie. That's where I got short bus. They didn't card me or anything. <laughs> They let you watch that pornography. They for free. let me get short bus from the public library without any like hesitation or like that's just on the shelf at the Cleveland Public Library. Well, they don't they don't even know what it is. Somewhere out there right now, there's a kid who's like, "Oh, a movie about people with Down syndrome is gonna be great." Oh, I'm coming. So <laughs> it opens on a guy coming in his own mouth. Oh, this is a saucy film. I've been I'm dice and I'm trying to get new <laughs> new material. Hey, you know when you go to the library? I like in short bus. There's a scene where like there's a big orgy happening, like the background, yeah. and then someone, unsimulated. Someone's talking, and then they just look off in the corner and go, "Oh my god, I thought that guy didn't have an arm for a second. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I think I'd put that as an away message <laughs> on my Instagram. Because I'd put movie quotes. Good for you. And I think I'd put... Because you know then other 16-year-olds see my away message and they go, Ah, yes, a reference to short bus. Ah, gay <laughs> pornography. Ah, yes, <laughs> pornography of the plot. <laughs> I knew Dan liked the finer things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie uh, for people who think Hedwig and the Angry Inch is too straight. Yeah. <laughs> What are you? <laughs> what are you straight? What are you a straight guy? I ain't hetero. No, there's ladies in it too. There's ladies in everything. Uh, that movie I rented it, or I got it from the library, and then it was just at my house, like on the stack of DVDs. And my mom would often watch things that I rented, just to be like, "Oh, bond with them." Yeah. And thank God she didn't pull that one off the back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's see what my teenage son's into. It just opens on a guy coming into relate. his own mouth. I just want to relate. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this was no Rushmore. <laughs> God damn! I was hoping for another bottle rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Like, Holy crap! Christ. <laughs> I thought this was one of those Wes Anderson movies he liked. <laughs> it's right. a Wes Anderson movie, but they do the cross section he always does for like. When they show like the interior of a house, you know the shot where it's yeah, like a yeah, cross yeah, yeah. like a dollhouse. Uh, it's that, but it's 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 like an orgy. Off in the corner is just a guy coming in his mouth. No, it's an orgy, <laughs> but it's cut in half. So you see like <laughs> organs. There's like a penis and an ass, and then that body's sucking a, a breast, and then that breast is. Getting... <laughs> uh... <laughs> 